it's a defensive priority for Denmark, according to Deschamps. Again, the French came into this tournament, ranked 7th in the world. They haven't lived up to the expectations through three games. Does that bother you, or do you know that they have more to show in the knockout? They certainly have a lot more to show, especially with the front four of them, Mbappé, Giroud, Griezmann and Pogba. Obviously, Pogba was rested today. He can now recover and go again. But for me, when you make six changes, it's too much. I know they've qualified, but it just disrupts the rhythm and the flow and the tempo and the momentum of the game. And it was a hard it wasn't there, though. That whole flow we didn't see it. So it didn't actually disrupt anything, don't you agree? But I was impressed with them the second game, certainly going forward compared to the first game. Really? That's true. It was better. The front four, yeah, it was a lot more movement, especially with Giroud when Dembele was dropped. You have Giroud as the target man. And I think Mbappé and Pogba play a lot better with the front man, rather than the three more skillful players up front. I agree, up front they did better. But from the back, it was just slow and not the quality that they can have. I agree with you. They do need to move the ball quicker from side to side, get it into midfield, pop it off, one and two touch. Absolutely, in spite of the points, you want to see a progression. It doesn't have to be from 0 to 10 in the group stage, but you want to see a progression in the same way that we saw, for example, Uruguay keeping the shutouts, getting a couple of goal set pieces. And then they burst through in the third game. That's what you want to see because you want to extrapolate it out. If this is where they're right now and they keep going this direction, that's a good thing. With France, it's still, meh. That's professional jargon, actually, right there.